we're doing minor remodels, Kappa Alpha Theta, I think. Oh, that's who's gonna be in here. We're just going through a building that was pretty much destroyed by the previous tenants and doing upgrades and repairs so that it can be livable. Yeah, this building, its future plan is to be a home of a sorority and for them to lease it and keep it leased for as long as possible. We just returned onto campus last year, basically starting in winter term. We currently have a six bedroom house where we have five executive council members. So we have a lot of our core guys and leaders in one building, but that's it. The current housing situation, like I said, just six people living in a house and we have all the other guys live in like two to three bedroom houses. So it's not really a great place. We are one of two fraternities on campus along with Sigma Nu that do not have a house. The main thing recruitment wise is was well, kind of an issue, but at the same time it's also a positive. So it's great to have all your events at one single location, great to have them be able to meet every guy at one time. Hey, yeah, we don't necessarily have a house, but that's not what we're all about, and they can really see that with our housing situation. Multi-person housing is kind of short around campus. They're building a lot of new buildings, but those buildings are oftentimes priced out of people's ranges. Our current goal is to hopefully get housed, if not next year, within two years. Obviously, the University of Oregon doesn't have great housing potential. There are some spots, but you never know.